this is an update. I finally uh, added three more ducks to the pond. So now we have a total of five ducks. It's kind of windy here right now in Southern California. But this particular video is going to deal with the uh, aviary I added. I enclosed the entire backyard with netting. Let's see if we could focus in on it. The netting will. This is the corner of the property, all the way to the far end over there. And it extends to the far end corner, way up there, where the pine tree is located. All the well, most of the birds here, with the exception of two. can fly and we also enclosed it right there in addition I added a bamboo fence to prevent the birds from getting through the wrought iron gate there or fence I also got a pair of uh, let me see if I can pronounce it correctly Temnix chug go pens pheasants and they like to come to the very top here let's see if we can find them and there they are this is the male and there's a female and you can see this is the corner of the property and this is where they sleep at night added a branch and that's where they perch. Now these birds could fly. And you can see the netting. And we reinforce the uh, netting with these cables throughout the property. I still have some work to do back here. I have a lot more plants I need to place back here. And for now, since these particular these pheasants don't like to go down by the house and they like to stay up here, I place their food there, their water container, and their bowl there for their uh, feed. We created a uh, I guess you want to call it a sitting area up here for two. And you could see the roof line on the house there. Within the uh, description, I would go ahead and um, put links or the information as to who the supplier was for the netting and you can see down below the koi pond and you can say it's a windy day out here so you see all this debris in the pond right now I've also added another nest for the ducks and I kind of placed it down near the water level to keep the raccoons away 
we have a family of four raccoons invading the area here. This is the uh, top of the waterfall and it's the bog and maybe six months ago I added these plants and they're just taking off in here. They just love it. The only problem is that I have to treat it uh, a couple of times a month for mosquitoes. I'll show you some of the connections here in the corner of the home on the roof line. The mesh here is inch by an inch. It'll keep my birds in. It'll also keep out the owls, the heron, and other predators. We do have a, an occasional hawks coming by trying to take our ducks. The only problem I see here is on a windy day, you can see all the debris from the trees just hanging on the netting there. So I'm gonna have to figure a way how to remove it. We're in the middle of December and I would assume by next month the ducks would be laying their eggs. Here we have a female and there's a male and this is a white male. He was injured uh, a few days ago by a raccoon while the duck was in quarantine. Another male and here's a female. 